with the inflation rate rising so fast, many investors are returning to usual safe harbor investment options. Gold. Gold is one of the largest financial assets in the world with an average daily trading volume of $183 billion. There's, of course, a strong debate whether gold is an effective hedge against market volatility. Renowned investor Warren Buffett has spoken out numerous times on his doubts about investing in gold, calling it an asset with no utility. Others, such as Suki Cooper, executive director of Precious Metals Research at a Standard Chartered Bank, believes that while gold is not necessarily a perfect hedge against inflation, it can be a strategic hedge against it. Besides, one thing is very probable. With the growing inflation rate, the chance for increase in the interest rates, a weakened US dollars and heightened tensions in the market, the price of gold is likely to grow and continue to increase in this year. Which is why in this video, we're going to be taking a look at top 11 exchange traded funds that allow you to invest in gold. So let's get into it. The very first ETF to take a look at is Horizons Enhanced Income Gold Producers ETF with ticker symbol HEP. This ETF is traded in Canadian dollars and has an expense ratio of 0.81%. What this fee entails, uh, that means that if you were to invest $10,000 as an example in HEP, you would be paying a fee of $81 in one year. What's unique about HEP is the fact that it comes with a, a call option strategy embedded within it. And in, as a result, it does pay a very decent distribution yield uh, currently at annualized 8.74%. HEP will invest primarily in a portfolio of equity and equity-related securities of North American listed companies that are primarily exposed to gold mining and exploration. It will generally write covered call options on 100% of the portfolio securities. HEP has its inception going back to April 11 of 2011. And if you look at the past five years in terms of the ETF stock price return, it is showing a return of positive uh, 11%. HEP has $174 million in assets under management and does pay its distributions on a monthly basis. Next, we're going to take a look at Horizons Gold Yield ETF, ticker symbol HGY. It has a distribution yield of 7%, based on estimated annualized yield and has an expense ratio of 0.98%. HGY has $69 million in assets under management and provides unit holders with exposure to the price of gold bullion hedged to the Canadian dollar, less the ETF's fee and expenses. It's also a tax efficient monthly distribution and it provides you exposure to a covered call option strategy on 33% of the securities of the gold portfolio. Its inception date goes back to December 17 of 2010. And in the past five years, it is showing an overall return of 1.16%. The last trading price for that was only at $5.25 per share of this ETF. Next, we're going to be taking a look at Horizons Gold ETF with ticker symbol HUG. It has an expense ratio of 0.30%. It does not currently pay a distribution and it has $18 million in assets under management. HUG was incepted back in June of 24th, 2009, and seeks investment results before fees, expenses, distribution, brokerage commission, and other transaction costs that endeavor to correspond to the performance of the Solactive Gold Front Month MD Rolling Futures Index ER. It, in the past five years, it is showing a positive return of 32.7 or 8% uh, roughly, and its last trading price is at $15.56. Next on our list, we have iShares Gold Bullion ETF, ticker symbol CGL.C. Currently, it does not pay a distribution yield. It has an expense ratio of 0.56% and has $258 million in assets under management. CGL.C provides targeted exposure to the price of gold that is unhedged to the Canadian dollars. Its inception date goes back to March 31st, 2011, and in the past five years, it is showing a positive return of 42% plus. The last trading price for this ETF was at $20.74. Next on our list, we have iShares S&P uh, Toronto Stock Exchange Global Gold Index ETF, ticker symbol XGD. It has $1.3 billion in assets under management, does pay a quarterly distribution, 
and its annualized distribution is at 1.33%. XGD provides targeted exposure to global securities of producers of gold and related products. It seeks to provide long-term capital growth by replicating the performance of the S&P uh, TSX Global Gold Index net of expenses. Its inception date goes back to March 23rd, 2001, and in the past five years, it is showing a positive return of 48.3%. The last trading price for XGD was at $20.07 at the time I'm making this video. Next on our list, we have BMO Equal Weight Global Gold Index ETF, ticker symbol ZGD. ZGD does not currently pay a distribution. It has $58 million in asset under management and has an expense ratio of 0.61%. ZGD replicates to the extent possible the performance of the Selective Equal Weight Global Gold Index net of expenses. And in the past five years, it has returned positive 39%. Its last trading price goes is at $75.56 and its inception date was on November 14th of 2012. Next on our list, we have Harvest Global Gold Giants Index ETF, ticker symbol HGGG. It has an expense ratio of 0.68% and $6 million in assets under management. Its distributions is paid annually with an annualized distribution yield of 0.69%. HGGG is an equally weighted portfolio of the world's leading and largest gold companies, and the ETF tracks the selective gold Global uh, Gold Giants Index TR. It gives you exposure to the top 20 dominant large capitalization global gold companies. Its inception date goes back to January 7th of 2019. And in the past five years, it is showing a positive return of close to 45%. Next on our list, we have CI First Assets Gold uh, Plus Giants Covered Call ETF, ticker symbol CGXF. CGXF provides unit holders with quarterly cash distributions and the opportunity for capital appreciation by investing in a portfolio of equity securities of at least the 15 largest gold and precious metal companies measured by market capitalization on the North American Stock Exchange. It also provides and applies a covered call option writing program. Its distribution yield as a result is higher at 7.8%. And it has $429 million in assets under management with an expense ratio of 0.73%. Uh, that means that if you invest $10,000, you would be paying a fee of $73 in one year. It's worthwhile mentioning that although the inception date for CGXF uh, goes back to June 1st of 2011, there was a mandate change uh, going back to August 19, 2019. As a result of that, this ETF return is shown since that time frame, and it doesn't go beyond that. Um, in that time frame, as a result, you're noticing a decline of 1.74% since August 19 of 2019. Next on our list, on the ninth spot, we have Sprott Physical Gold Trust, a ticker symbol PHYS. As the name suggests, it gives you exposure to physical gold at a time when demand is high, causing excessive premiums for coins and bars. Unit holders can redeem their units for physical gold bullion on a monthly basis, subject to certain minimum requirements. It is available in US dollars, but it also is available in Canadian dollars with ticker symbol PHYS.TO. So it's available for both US dollar investors as well as Canadian dollar investors, those in Canada. The expense ratio is at 0.42% and it has $5 billion in assets under management. It does not currently pay a distribution. Its inception date goes back to February 25th of 2010. The last trading price for the US dollar version of it it was at $14.94 in the past five years. It shows to be up by close to 45%. Uh, Next on our list and on the 10th spot, we have BMO Junior Gold Index ETF, ticker symbol ZJG. It has a minimal distribution yield only at 0.33% with an inception date of January 19, 2010. ZJG replicates to the extent possible the performance of the Dow Jones North American Select Junior Gold Index net of expenses. It does pay its distribution on an annual basis. It has $82 million in assets under management and has an expense ratio of 0.61%. Over the past five years, uh, is showing a actually increase of 23% roughly. Um, and that's a positive return overall for this ETF. And lastly, on the 11th spot, we have Royal Canadian Mint 
Canadian Gold Reserve ETF, ticker symbol MNT.TO. It does not pay a distribution currently and has an expense ratio of 0.35%. The Canadian Gold Reserve Exchange uh, traded receipt provides investors with a secure, convenient, and low-cost direct investment in physical gold. In the past five years, it is showing to be up by 38.8%. Well, there you have it, folks. A quick look into high-quality 11 exchange-traded funds that allow you to invest in gold. Uh, most of these ETFs that we talked about are actually available in Canadian dollars, with one of them also being available in US dollars uh, as well as the Canadian dollars. I hope you found this video beneficial. We put a ton of time and effort to research these high-quality exchange-traded funds and put them together in a nice formatted presentation for you and walk you, you through it, talk about their past performance, their fees, uh, the exposure that they provide to you, and all the knowledge that you need to make an informed decision. Hope this video was beneficial. If you gained something of value from it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot to us and help us uh, expand the channel. And of course, if you haven't done that already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Here on Momentum Finance, we post every week several videos about investing, whether it's investing in the stock market, cryptocurrencies, real estate, or gold, as well as ways to reach financial freedom. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.